In this video, we are going to learn how you can send multiple photos and videos on Telegram automatically. So let's suppose you have created a Google Sheet in which you are adding some photo and video URLs. Now you want that whenever you are going to add multiple photo and video URLs to your Google Sheet, automatically the photos and the videos should be clubbed together, it should be grouped together as an album and it should be shared on your Telegram channel. For that, you need to integrate your Google Sheets with Telegram. So here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Telegram. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Public Connect? For that you need to come to my screen. To share an album on Telegram channel from Google Sheets, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as share album on telegram channel from Google Sheets. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to share the albums or multiple photos or videos on our telegram channel from Google Sheets. So first we are going to integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Sheets. Select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Sheets. So I'll copy this webhook URL from here and I'll just take you to my Google Sheet which I have already created named Telegram Album. And here you can see I have given the title. Here I have given URL 1, URL 2 and here I have added photo oblique video. So this is the photo URL that is why I have written photo over here and this is the video URL so I have mentioned video over here giving a comma. Okay. Now we are going to integrate this particular Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So come to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. Now you have to install Pabli Connect webhooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed on my system. I'm just going to close this window. But remember after installing Pabli Connect webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Okay. Now again come to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks and click on initial setup. Now here it is asking for the webhook URL. So here we have to paste the webhook URL that we have copied from Pabli Connect. And here we have to give the trigger column. The trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So here you can see I have the data from column A till column D and I want the data to be captured till column D. So here I am going to give the trigger column as column D. So if you have the data till column J and you want the data to be captured till column J, then you have to give the trigger column as column J over here. Okay. Now let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Now let's click on submit. Setup configured successfully. Okay, now let's close this window. Now again come to extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks and this time we have to click on send on event. So why we are going to select this option? Just because next time whenever you are going to add the details to this particular Google Sheet, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the data. We don't have to link these details again and again. So make sure you have a tick mark on send on event option over here. Okay, now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And when we scroll down, we can see that the response is received and all the details of the Google Sheet are captured over here. We can find the title, URL 1, URL 2 and here we can find photo oblique video, photo comma video. Okay, And here even the spreadsheet details are also captured. So now we want that using these details automatically a new album should get shared on your telegram channel. So now let's integrate telegram with Pabli Connect. So come to this action window and here choose the application name as telegram. Select the action event as send an album. Click on connect, click on add new connection and now here it is asking for the token. So here the instructions are mentioned so you can follow these instructions to find the token 
or else I'll just take you to my Telegram web application over here. And here we are going to search for bot father. Just click on start. And here we are going to type slash new bot. All right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So let's give the name as send video. Good. Let's choose a username for the bot and it must end with a underscore bot. Okay. It must end in bot. So I'll just give it as send video underscore bot. So I'm just going to give a random name. Okay. The username is already taken. Let's give another username. Share album underscore bot. Okay, done. Congratulations on your new bot. You will find it at this particular URL and here we have got the token. So let's copy this token and I'll be just pasting it over here. And now let's click on save to create a connection. And now the Telegram bot account is connected to Public Connect. Now here it is asking for the chat ID. For that I'll just take you to my Telegram account once again. And here you can see I have already created a group name Pabli Team where I am having four members. So first of all I'm just going to add my bot in this particular group. So let's click on this plus sign, add users. And here we are going to just find our bot. So let's find our bot over here. That was share album. Yes, send video. So we have added the bot to this particular group. And here we can find five members. Now we have to give the admin rights to this particular bot. So it is not possible from my Telegram web application. So I'm just going to pause my video and I'll be giving the admin rights from my mobile phone. Okay, it's quite easy. You have to just open your group. You have to select the bot, click on promote to admin. Okay, so I've given the rights and the admin rights to the bot. Now here we can find the chat ID in the URL that is dash 8040. So I'm just going to copy it and I'll be just pasting it over here. This is our chat ID. Okay, now here it is asking for the line item media type. Provide media type as photo or video. Note, must contain at least two items. That is photo, comma, video or photo, comma, photo or video, comma, uh, photo. So in this particular manner itself, I have added the data over here. That is photo, comma, video. So this is the photo URL and this is the video URL. That is why I have mentioned photo, comma, video. So if you have both the URLs of video, you have to just give, give video, comma, video. If you have both the photo URLs over here, just give photo, comma, photo. In this way, you have to give the format over here. So if you have more video URLs or the photo URLs over here, you have to give the format over here in this particular manner itself. Okay. So now we already have this details in our Google Sheet trigger response over here. That is photo, comma, video. So now we are going to map these details. For mapping, simply scroll down, click it over here, come to the trigger response and from the drop down, select photo, comma, video. Okay. Now here it is asking for the line item caption. So let us map the caption over here. That is group one. And here we have to select line item pass mode as HTML. And here we have to give the line item media URL. Provide a URL to get a photo or video from the internet and sends it. Note, you can pass comma separated values for multiple line items over here. So we have to give first URL, just give a comma. Then we have to give the second URL, then give a comma, then add the third URL. So in this way, you can map multiple URLs over here. So now we are going to map the URLs, URL 1, comma, URL 2 and if you have multiple URLs you can just map some more URLs over here okay now let's scroll down and now we are going to click on save and send test request so here we can see the response is received it means the videos or the URLs are shared on our telegram application let's check it so here we can see the first one is the image that is the photo and the second one is the video and in this way we can see that our integration is working fine Let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data save successfully. Okay. Now we have set up an automation. This is a one time process. Next time, whenever you're going to add the photo or a video URL to your Google Sheet, automatically the album will be shared on your Telegram application. So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, let's move to the Google Sheets. And here I'm just going to give the title as group two this time. You can give a title as per your requirement and here I'll be adding the URLs. Okay, so I have added the URLs over here, URL 1 and URL 2 and both of these are the MP4 URLs. So these are the video URLs. So I have given the format as video comma video. Now let us check our Telegram application 
And here we can see that two videos are shared on my Telegram channel as an album. And here we can find the title as group 2. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Sheets and Public Connect so that whenever you're going to enter the photo or video URL to a Google Sheet, automatically the details are captured in Public Connect. And then we have shared the same media as an album on your Telegram channel. And in this way, we have learned that how we can share album on Telegram channel from Google Sheets using Public Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Public Forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Public Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.